Today, friends, the BMW i8 is here, and I have to say, as much as it is just a Mini Cooper with an electric engine on it, it is to this day still pretty darn cool to look at, and the crew to already, you already know, is going to have some crazy customization. Also, in this new pack today is the ZR1, or ZR1, and honestly, if you want me to build this, make sure to smash the like and let me know, and I might release it later today. This is available via a bundle, a new Elite bundle, so if you want to go check that out, that's the easiest way to get it. You can buy it with money, 1.6 million, or I think it's like 200,000 for the crew credits. We also have some new vanity items available. I'm gonna buy those green tires, cause green, green, green. Green's been my color recently, you may already know. Honestly, I didn't really know this wasn't particularly available in the game before. I thought it was. It's, I feel like it's just in every game. What? Get the hell out of my car, sir. Please. <laughs> How would you do it? Anyway, let's get it. I mean, it don't sound like a Mini Cooper. To be fair, I don't own a three-cylinder Mini Cooper, so I can't comment exactly, but I'm sure they give it a sportier sound. But the BMW i8, it's one of those cars that a lot of us think, like, looks pretty cool, very nice. It looks like a Porsche is coming out of the rear, but at the same time, it's a hybrid. It's a, it's a Prius. Wait, 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 wait. Doesn't the Prius have a bigger engine? Google does confirm the Prius has a bigger engine than the i8. That's just weird. <laughs> All right, let's get this in the shop. Let's get it modified. I see you staring at me, baby. You better show us the bigness. I am ready. Visual parts, of course. We have two hoods. I starting slow, starting slow. To be fair, I mean, what else would you really do to the hood of this car? Yeah, we're going to put it on just because I want to put some aftermarket parts on it. We only have six bumpers for the crew. That's pretty low. We can make the, I kind of like that. The blue accents on the car just make a little bit of sense. This adds a little bit of a splitter on the bottom. And oh yes, here we go. Some canards too. That looks so much more aggressive than the standard. And it's such like small details that do that. Please give us arches. I mean, we have gone straight to wheels. I actually like the i8 wheels. For standard wheels, those look pretty sick. Caliper color, no arches available. We can make smaller mirrors. I mean, that's the last thing I would have thought of. I want bigger mirrors. I want to see everything. But to be fair, those are huge mirrors. They don't need to be that big. Jumping onto the side skirts, a little bit of blue. Go for it. Rear fender. That's that's a, that's a roof I would tell. No one ever said yes. In a game, let me put a soft top on. I hate soft top. I hate them so much. Why? Why? They just look so stupid and cheap and fabricy. Holy poo! Look at that wing. That wing looks. The placement is so odd, but it makes sense. You'd have to bring it quite. Yep. Yeah, I carry an. Oh. <laughs> We're buying it. That is a pretty sick design on the wing. And we've got the world's use, most useless diffuser. And I just realized the exhausts are down. I didn't know that about this car. But for those who don't, don't see it, look at the silver. It looks like a Porsche is coming out the back. It lo it's, it's really clever. Like, it just, it's odd. It's like they've molded around a Porsche a 911 or something. All right, jumping into the interior, we're going to wait. I want to see what color we're going to end up with this car. Because this car... I don't know. I've never seen it in a color. Yeah, I mean, there's no manufacturer colors available. That kind of makes sense. I mean, considering there's no manufacturer colors available, that would make sense, wouldn't it? We could go for brown. I know it's supposed to be a bronze, but nah, you know, we go in for a color. Chrome? Uh, absolutely not. Matte? Absolutely not. Let's go, let's go for a metallic. I'll pick. See, now we've got the blue accents. We may be limited. Surprise, surprise, we went for blue. <laughs> right, blue wheels? Do we do it like a full blue on blue on blue? Or do we do blue on blue on blue on blue? Ah, lots of choices. I have a lot of wheels. <laughs> we went for a full crazy blue. Let's do blue parts. We're doing the... Oh, man, I ain't got... <laughs> All right, let's do a mostly blue machine. Bl oh, for God's sake, I scrapped them all. Not quite fully blue, but we got some blue parts on it. That's all that matters. Okay, without further ado, let's test this thing out now that it's fully upgraded. Wait! I'm a baboon. I completely forgot to look at the liveries and... Oh, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Why you got the tub livery like that? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's nice. I mean, 
Right. I think... Oh, hang on. We've got Bugatti style over here. That's a bit bright. <laughs> here she is. In the flesh. Let's go. We're going to go to uh, the side here because I don't want to go through uh, the challenge. But straight away, so much quicker off the line. This is a street race car for those of you that do not know yet. Super grippy already, you can tell. Like... Maybe a little bit too grippy, but crazy amounts of control. It's not like not massive amounts of understeer. So I feel like you have an, you, I've just jumped in the bloody car and I know where it wants to go. That is not a regular occurrence anymore in the crew too. All right, jumping into the interior view. You know what? It's weird because it's so, this car's old now. Like I feel like, it's, it's, it shouldn't ever feel old, but it does. <laughs> the interior is nice, pretty good still, but the exterior, it looks like an old concept car. <laughs> See, instead of doing a race, we can actually jump in and do one of these, because I've not actually touched these. The top score is 2 million. I played most of them on the early access, so I haven't actually played a lot of them here. So let's try it. The agency with my i8. As you can tell, there's a bit of a theme going on here with convertible cars in the agency. Let's get it. Let's see if I uh, remember how to do it. Action scene, baby. Let's get it. Don't hit those trucks. Trying to throw me off with those stupid trucks. Speed on the oncoming. I mean, there's no traffic. I guess there are traffic at some points. <laughs> Jump in the gap. Whoa. Whoa. I got it. Don't you worry. It's me, Agent Pants Man McGee. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Please, someone end me. <laughs> I tell you, my agency vehicle wouldn't be no I-8. I'd be having a big old V-8. Speaking of, wouldn't it be cool if the I-8 had a V-8? Can you do that on Need for Speed? I'm sure you could probably swap a V-8 into this I-8. I'm sure I've done it. That would instantly make me like this car more. Unfortunately, that's not a thing. It's, it's, I'm surprised it's still around. I'm surprised they haven't done a new generation of it yet. I think they've done a SUV version, but none of these. Oh, here's a fun fact for you. One day I went into a dealership and sat in one of these because I wanted to know what it's like. You know, that's, that's how you do it. It was on display in everything available. And then a salesman and what happened to be the new owner of that said show car came up. They didn't say anything, but it was quite awkward. I got out and like left. <laughs> I sat in the man's BMW. He just, hey, how was I supposed to know? It's, it's still, had, it, was, it was in the showroom. Yeah, so these agency events, I think once I've done one of them, there's not a huge variation in them. I think those that like, like the uh, grind of events and trying to get the best score, I think that's, this is going to be good for you guys. I'm sure you've been experiencing for a while now but i personally i'm, I'm here for the whips i'm here for the grind of the monies that's what i do that's what i need across the line smash into that fella why is he here oh it's just a bit more of a backstory and something i got 35 grand how has someone got two million someone got two million on this i don't believe it i think they're they're dirty cheating i think they're doing something naughty naughty that they shouldn't be doing but I love the, the, the... Every time we go into one of those events and it's got those filters on it, doesn't the game look so much better with the filter on? Man, they need to just enable one of those permanently. Or give you the option to do it yourself in the menu. That would be sick. Of course, you can do it on the replays, but I want to do it when I'm driving. It looks good. It looks really good. So what do you think of the i8, guys? I personally think it's a decent-looking car. It's uh, much nicer now that Ivory Tower's had their flavors all over it but in terms of concept looking cars today i would lc 500 that's what i did big old v8 in a concept looking machine they did a better job <laughs> all right be sure to smash that like button my friends subscribe if you are new and i'll see you again later on depending on the likes for the next video and until next time peace